Hi babies! It's Andeng. Welcome to my channel. Tara, kwentuhan tayo. Hi babies! Kamusta kayong lahat? I hope everyone's doing okay. For um, our vlog today, I just want to share um, yung unboxing ng convocation box ko. So this is from the university where I took my perioperative course, um, post-secondary course siya ng mga registered nurses here in Canada. So, actually, kapag registered nurse ka na, you don't need this course anymore to be able to work inside the operating room. However, when this was um, uh, parang in-offer sa akin no employer ko, and then they're gonna pay for everything, I'm like, sure, why not, diba? Tapos, pwede ko pang sabihin na I'm a registered parang um, nurse, on top of that, uh, meron din akong diploma as a perioperative registered nurse. So, eto, dumating siya. Actually, this video is like parang late post na siya kasi um, our convocation is already concluded and done. So, um, I just want to share to you yung video na ginawa ko to unbox it. And I want to share with you kung ano yung laman sa loob. First of, sobrang sealed na sealed siya. So, at first, I had a hard time opening it up. Um, so, sabi ko, ah, I need a sharper tool to open this. And, um, actually, pag open ko, sabi ko, oh, fancy. Next, parang ganun. So, um, a bunch of congratulatory uh, messages were there. And then, of course, ang nandun sa box, the sky is the limit. O, diba? Parang, ang ganda-ganda na parang for everyone who's still in school, um, parang ito yung magandang motivation ng kumbaga. Diba? And then, of course, madaming congratulations na nakalagay. Um, there was a letter from the dean herself or himself, I guess. And, of course, merong mga list kung ano yung mga nandun sa box. So, as I was rummaging through all of it, um, kasi dito, parang, di ba, because of the pandemic, we cannot um, have a graduation. Like, yung normal na umaakit ka sa stage and you'll receive your diploma. So, um, I think this one's for online. Kaya, ganto siya. But they send you yung cap mo and everything and then the tassel would say 2021 kasi batch 2021 oh um i started a course uh, last fall of 2020 so that's around september last week of september and then i officially finished it um in january so um with that, I was actually studying from home. Um, actually, three days a week, I'm studying at home. And then, a couple of days a week, I report to work. Kumbaga, parang i-apply mo kung ano yung pinag-aaralan mo um, during your online classes. And then, apply it um, when you come to work. And then I also have parang a preceptor who guides me along the way. But of course, I've been working in the OR for quite some time. So they're trying to treat me as if hindi ako estudyante. Siyempre parang sasabihin nila, oh, you already know this stuff. Why would we have to like shadow you? Or why would we have to guide you or teach you? You know already this. Um, so... Sinasabi ko na lang sa kanila politely na I'm still in school and I'm trying to get um, this completed. And a part of it is I be needing someone who can shadow me. So, yun, naintindihan naman nila. And, um, of course, 
um, since online class naman siya, we also do like Zoom classes. Um, sometimes it'll be a challenge. It was a challenge actually when the kids were here. Um, syempre, naglalaro sila and they're loud and everything. But of course, magagawa naman yun ang paraan. So this one is actual is the actual pin ng university. So pwede mo siya ilagay sa ID mo or sa clothes mo or wherever. Um, it's magnet. So hindi ka niya matutusok like some other pins, di ba? Na parang kapag inano mo ay matutusok ka. So this one is magnet. So it's all good. So like what I was saying, um, having to study online is tougher than I thought. Kasi parang... Uh, I never realized na mas, I mean, na madami ding assignments na kailangan kompletuhin. And then there are quizzes na you have to answer. And then, of course, there are midterms and of course, mga alam natin lahat yung dreaded final exams. So, um, what I was doing is that I do my assignments at night time when the family's asleep. It's because I have the time to myself and I have the peace of um, the house, kumbaga. So, um, I normally would do two or three assignments at one sitting, depending sa mood ko. Or if I'm not too, too sleepy, I could finish up to three assignments. And of course, sa isang assignment, hindi naman basta-basta parang isasubmit mo lang, diba? Um, it has to have like APA format. Yung alam mo yung ito check pa ng um, certain person from the university kung tama yung indentations mo, spelling mo, grammar, um, margins, uh, font, font size, and of course kapag um, write yung pag sa site mo nung mga sources mo. That's very important. Kasi, um, yung university is very, very strict with their plagiarism. So, alam mo yun, meron talagang nagmamonitor. So, this one, I think, is the yearbook. I mean, new listahan ng mga graduates. So, ha, hindi nyo makikita yung full name ko, but it was, it's there. And then, beside my name is an asterisk, meaning, um, I graduated with distinction. So, kung ano man yun, I don't know. Pero sabi ng instructor ko, I was a good student. Next, parang ganun. So, going back dun sa assignments, yun nga, um, someone is checking. Meron talagang posisyon uh, dun sa university that someone would check your work if finalo mo yung guidelines nila and everything. And then, there are quizzes. And syempre, kapag hindi ka pumasa sa quizzes, alam mo yun, parang malaking deduction yun sa final grade mo. And then every day we also have these discussions um, na nagpa-participate kami and then it has points as well. And then of course, dyan yung midterms. So kapag nag-fail ka sa midterms, you won't be able to write the final exam. You're on automatic fail, kumbaga. So um, yung midterms was actually really okay. Like um, most of the questions were situational and um, sinagot ko lang siya base sa knowledge ko in working inside the operating room. And then the final exam were um kasi tatlong parts yun. So it was like really really challenging for me. Um kasi parang alam mo yung mahaba yung situation and then the choices yung A B C D sobrang haba din nila. So parang alam mo yung sa isang minuto di ba target natin is um approximately one question, one minute. Pero because of the length ng situation plus yung length ng answers, it took me like about a minute and probably th- uh, 30 seconds just to finish everything. Tapos, yun. But I was able to pass. And so ito nga sa video, pinapakita na yung um, diploma itself. So, alam mo yun. It's na- nakaka-proud na... Um, I was able to finish this course. Um, the operating room is the area na talagang malapit sa puso ko because I've always wanted to become an operating room nurse. So, ayan na nga siya kung nakikita nyo. 
and um, my parents were also proud of me because of this achievement. And talam mo yun, um, it was paid for by my employer, oh, di ba? At dahil jan, they have to give me like a permanent job in the future, kasi di ba pinagkagasas na nila ako to put me back into school, and then shempre they would they would want to keep me for sure, kahit part time job pa yan. So, yun na nga, ito na yung aking convocation box. Salamat sa pag-join sa akin. And until the next video, you guys, mahal ko kayo. Sana nag-enjoy kayo. Mahal ko kayong lahat.